Hey guys, Ash from Off Grid Mojo here again with an update of how I'm going with the fit out. <coughs> so I've done all the electrics, um, just haven't finished hooking everything up because uh, I had to wait till I've done this core flute and um, done the insulation and then I can come back and fit all these various things properly. Um, there's my Waco fridge there and down if I can get this bloody gimbal to work and down in that area at the front there underneath that core flute is where the electrical box is all neatly put in there I'll just give you a quick rundown on what I've done here with the core flute <clears throat> in some areas like here where there's lots of bars um, and there's quite a bit of strength in those areas I've just grabbed a bit of 5 mil core zip tied it onto the frame and then come in and sicker flexed a bit of two and a half mil black core flute and I'm just in the process of sicker flexing ah sorry zip tying that I've sicker flexed it I've just got to zip tie that in uh, I've gone with some variations on the insulation this is EVA foam from a company called Moraday uh, it's 15 mil thick I think um, 10 mil or 15 mil uh, and I've used that in these areas here where it's um, just a little bit more practical as I said there's a lot of strength here with these bars here so it's not necessary to use <coughs> this 30 mil foam here but I will be using the 30 mil foam on the walls there because as you can see it's a bit floppy so what I did here with this core flute is I went I did one vertical there's three, there's three pieces of two and a half mil. I did one vertical, one horizontal, and then I came in with another vertical one just to give it some strength, but it's still very light. Uh, and I sick of flex them all together like a sandwich. Um, so I, the very first one, I just lightly taped with some duct tape and one or two zip ties here and there just to hold the first one in place and then I came in because it was quite tall I came in with a knife and it cut through very quickly like a hot knife through butter and then I sicker flexed sorry just get this gimbal working and then I came in and sicker flexed the, the other side and then came in and stuck the other panel on there and cut it zip tied it and then again with the next one and uh, I can tell you it is finicky work and really really time consuming but as you can see the end result is going to be pretty cool I mean once it's uh, once it's totally skinned all the outside I've put the roof on put the solar panel up on me um, camper van there that'll come down and, and go I've got a an 8 mil piece of core flute to run along this roof and then I'll sicker flex that solar panel onto there and I'll bring the leads down to come into this box sorry, this box through this wall and into the electrical box there and we're almost there and I imagine the um, the insulation work where I need to route out the channels in that insulation over there to go over these bars will be an extremely time consuming job um, so yeah, I'm just taking my time with it, um, trying not to rush. I tend to get very excited. <laughs> well, I just, you know, I come and do a day's work and I go, right, tomorrow I'll come in, I'll do this, 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 this and this. And I, I'm lucky even if I get one of those things done because it's just so time consuming. But it is a lot of fun. Um, the sun's out today, so I'm charging the battery. It had gone down a little bit flat. Well, when I say flat, it... It's got some parasitic draw, some of the USB plugs and some of the monitors and that draw a little bit of power. I think it's three watts. So over about two or three day period, my battery gets down to about 94%. So I've just, you know, put it out in the sun, uh, charge it up. It's almost nearly back to fully charged now. And uh, now I'll get back into it. Start uh, finishing off that little one down there with some more zip ties and then come in and do the next wall this is the plan anyway today the plan for today is I'll finish this side wall and then I'll do the roof and I'll whack the solar panel on from the camper van and let's see how we go <laughs> thanks guys see ya 
Okay, here we are. Uh, all the outside <clears throat> has been skinned with uh, core flute. So it was three pieces of two and a half mil core flute that I got from Bunnings and I sicker them all together in um, one direction. One piece was vertical, next piece horizontal and the next piece vertical, kind of like that. And uh, yeah, and that's the finished product. I've now got to stick the roof on and the solar panel, but it's actually coming to start to look like something pretty cool. And once all the portholes are in and and I've put the water tanks in and the everything else, finished it off to look good, I think. So there's going to be a big window here and here and one on the door up here little porthole and two little portholes on either side down the end where my head is where I sleep so I can uh, look out uh, on either side kind of deal all right guys um, I'm gonna quickly try and get this roof section of core flute on uh, I've got two pieces of 8 mil core flute there really long but not long enough to do the entire roof so I'll whack those on and then I'll clean them then I'll whack this uh, grab this solar panel off here clean it on uh, underneath I don't know if you can see that because it's uh, really dirty it's got to be cleaned to be sicker flex down properly and the sicker flex I'm using for that was given to me or I should say I purchased it from solar for RVs and it's called fix 8 FN fix tech and that's the preferred one for solar panels because it's a, got a little bit more flexibility than Sikaflex. It's not as strong as Sikaflex, I'm told, but it's uh, a little bit more flexible and that's kind of what you want. Another thing I was told with core flute is when you are putting a solar panel on core flute, you're better to have the base of the core flute in a couple of pieces because the core flute can expand and contract in the heat and that may put some stress on the solar panel so it just so happens that this trailer is so long there's I just cannot find a piece of core flute a single piece to do the roof so that's how it is anyway it's going to be and I did the same here as well on the quad trailer if you see it under there I did the same thing there I uh, made sure it was split into two so there's a bit of give there all right guys, I'll whack this roof on, hopefully get it done today and I'll show you a bit more. Ciao. Just a quick update guys, I got the solar panel up there and um, I've used some double-sided, high strength double-sided tape that I got from the, the boys and uh, Amy down at Solar for RVs. RVs? Solar for RVs? Um, very helpful people down there and also got the... Um, the uh, the silicon, which is a special one for putting solar panels on. So that's it there. I'm pretty happy with it. <clears throat> Obviously needs a clean. Once it's all stuck down and properly and everything, I'll give it a good clean. I haven't hooked it up yet because I'm absolutely knackered. And I'm just going to leave that. Let it all cure for a few days and then I'll come back and, and connect everything up. And this isn't going to stay white. Um... I'll put a little, um, I've got a new idea for a paint job kind of thing, so I'll post that up in this video upload as well, so you can have a bit of a squeeze at that. This thing here, I th was thinking I might take it off, but then I thought, you know what, it's good, because it will help. What I'll do is I'll, um, I'll end up running some um, Sikaflex down through here, and uh, create like a little tapering down sort of thing so that the water comes off down the side there and doesn't drip down the front here and all over the electrical box here so that's the plan whether or not it works we'll see uh, but this is a 355 watt Sunman EARC I got that from Solar for RVs um, comes with a it's thin it comes with a little metal frame around the perimeter and I've actually got little holes in there I don't know if you can see those 
very well, but those holes there, I will be drilling holes through the core flute and putting on some nice black uh, zip ties there, which will also help keep that down. Let's try and give you a quick look at the back there. It's very dark in here, uh, but that's kind of it there. Uh, the Moraday, the Moroday 15mm EVA insulation foam, excuse me, I'm going to excuse me, will be um, put on the roof. And uh, yeah, so I've still got a bit of work to do, but I think the hard stuff is done. I think this insulation will be messy because of the router, and I did test it a couple of months ago, uh, just on a tiny little section here, I routed it out. And mate, it just goes absolutely everywhere. So I've got a little vacuum cleaner here, little handheld vacuum. So no doubt that'll be getting a good run for its money cleaning this place up. But that's it for today. I'm absolutely knackered. I was surprised I got all that done. I really wasn't sure I was gonna get all that done, but I did. Uh, yeah, very happy with that. Looks a bit rough, guys. It is a bit rough. I haven't. Um, haven't done the finishing touches to it yet obviously it's uh, a lot of the sicker flex is still curing so I don't want to come in just yet and do absolutely everything until that cures properly and once that's cured I'll come in I'll cut windows out and do all the rest of it then so it's probably still a couple of weeks to go and obviously money is always a big issue because this is an, a, a cheap build to do and what I thought uh, in terms of money spent and equipment, tools, materials and everything. It's one of those things that, you know, you just end up not having enough. So I've had to order some more stuff and uh, that's coming on the way. So I've just got to wait for that really before I can finish this off. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll have another upload for you in due course. Ciao for now. This image here, guys, is something that I'm thinking of going with instead of a wrap. Um, I decided against putting my artwork all over the, the, the semi-trailer part because it was just pretty out there and pretty radical and I don't really want to stand out any more than I already are. And uh, down the track, you know, I may not be selling my artwork um, at markets and stuff, so... I'd rather keep the two things separate um, and that's why I've gone with this. So basically the black section of this image is simply the core flute uh, with no spray paint on it at all and then the top section is a like a charcoal grey, a light charcoal grey or something. Um, I'm going to have some portholes there as you can see and a, like a Japanese style window. Uh, there's also my off-grid mojo um, insignia there or emblem. Um, and some social media stuff as well so those white lines will be reflective tape and the little white thing and the black thing on the roof or the black thing is obviously the solar panel and the little white thing is the USB um, exhaust fan so yeah so that's it guys um, if you feel some interest or magnetism in what I'm doing here please don't forget to hit subscribe and then the little grey bell next to that and then the other grey bell at the top of the three grey bells that come up which says the word all next to it and you click on that and that'll give you all of my videos instantaneously in your newsfeed. Thanks for watching Off Grid Mojo. Ciao for now.